Okay, let's talk about log scales and how to read them. In engineering, we typically use a base 10 log scale. And what that means is that every major tick mark is equal to 10 to an exponent, and that exponent increases as you proceed increasingly along the log scale. So it's simpler really to just see it this way. Look, point 1, it's 10 to the minus 1. 1 is 10 to the 0. 10 is 10 to the 1. And 100 is 10 to the 2. So look at the exponent. Minus 1, 0, 1, 2, etc. Okay? So how do you read the log scale? Well, what you're going to do is you're going to read the tick marks, right? So let's first actually see how we read the tick marks. Let's just pick this tick mark right here. Because this is a 1 and this is a 10, these tick marks are spaced by 1s. So this would be 2, this would be 3, this would be 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay? Now if we move to the right here, I've seen students, for example, right here, 16, or sorry, 11, 12, 13, 14. No, that's not right. Here we have to go by tens, right? So this is 20, 30, 40, etc. Okay, this one over here is 90. I hope that you can see that uh, on the screen. If we go to the left side, just as an example here <clears throat> where we have a decimal, okay, again, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, etc., all the way to 0 0.9 and then 1. Okay, so it's actually very simple. You just have to pay attention to what you're doing, making sure that you don't, for example, here write 0 0.12, 0 0.13, 0 0.14. Okay? So if you just look at this scale right here for five minutes before you go to sleep tonight, I promise that you will remember how to read. Okay, so reading the values of the tick marks on a log scale is the simple first step. Now we proceed to figure out how to read values that are located within two tick marks. So for example, here we have the scale from 1 to 10, right? 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Now let's say that we have a point that's located here on a plot. And the x-axis is this logarithmic scale. Um, and so we want to know what is the x-coordinate of this point. So its value obviously is between 2 and 3, halfway between 2 and 3. Many students would initially guess, and wrongly so, that this value is 2.5. Why is that wrong? That is wrong because this is not a linear scale. You cannot think of a log scale in a linear fashion. That is, you cannot read it that way, okay? Between any two tick marks, between any two tick marks in a log scale, there is another log scale. So we have to basically uh, use a little formula that is actually quite simple to determine values within two tick marks. This formula that I'm going to show you right now allows you to determine the value at the center, meaning halfway between two tick marks. But with that, you can proceed to get basically any value you want. So between 2 and 3, the formula is as follows. It's called the geometric mean. Geometric mean. And all it is is the following. Between 2 and 3, what you do is you square root 2 times 3. This is the square root of 6, which is 2.45. So, in here, the middle value is 2.45, between 2 and 3. What about between 5 and 6? Five and 6. That is, between 5 and 6, our formula would be square root of 5 times 6, which is square root of 30, right? And that's 5.48. Okay, now let's say that you would like to know the value, just to confirm here, the value between 1 and 10. So the mid value here lands somewhere between the 3 and the 4, right? So let's use the 1 and the 10 
to calculate the mid value between the 1 and the 10. The value is square root of 1 times 10, which is square root of 10, which is 3.16. That's the middle value here. So it's actually closer, a little closer to the 3. And that's how you proceed. We can do it over here. Another example between, I don't know, uh, this is 20, 30, 40, right? Let's say right here between the 10 and the 20. The value is 10 times 20, which is, that is, square root of 10 times 20, which is square root of 200, which is 14.14. That's the middle value. Okay, now, just to finalize here, sorry for the little mess here, but let's say that you wanted to know what is the x-coordinate of this point. This point is located between the 10 and the 20, right? But it's not at the center. At the center would be this point here. This one is between, right at the center, sorry, between 10 and 14.14. So you can just make use of that. It's value, x-value, x-coordinate, is square root of 10 times 14.14. Okay, so 11.89. Oops, right there, 11.89. So knowing the geometric mean formula allows you to determine the value of a point that is the x-axis value, or the scale value, of a point located between two known tick marks, or two known values. In this case over here, one is a tick mark, the 10, and the other one is, let's call it a tick mark that you created, a, a new value, a known value, 14.14, which comes from, which is the middle value between 10 and 20.